This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Al Kane and I'm back with another video and today... Oh yeah. Okay, so on magicsquare.com, that's where I ordered this. On November 16th. And it took its sweet time to get here. Uh, holiday delays. Um, I got it on... February, like, what are we, uh, February 12, I think, or maybe the uh, 11, um, but I think it's the 12, and so that's like almost or over 90 days um, to get here, well, almost 90 days, and to cross the ocean, either Atlantic or Pacific, doesn't matter, it's 10 to 20 days, right, so I think it got sent, they left it on the boat, it went back, and then it came back, and then it took its sweet time to get here. Uh, but summer at Magic Square has been following and updating me on the delivery uh, when she could. Uh, great employee, uh, great customer service representative, or whatever her title is. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really happy to have this. This is a dream come true. Funny story. Um, I always wanted a Metroplex, even when I was a kid. Uh, but um, couldn't because it was over the budget of what we had. And uh, I offered to pay for the difference. But uh, my parents had strict rules uh, about budgeting. So I wasn't allowed. And uh, I've been harassing my dad forever just to tease him. Uh, because I love him and uh, but now I'm done with the teasing that's it I have my Metroplex I'm happy uh, this is from a company called uh, Siang Cultural and here it says that it's called like Hai Shenwei but it on the Magic Square website it was listed as Vladivostok so I don't know any of what that means uh, it's just metroplex and he comes with a you know couple accessory lighting i wasn't expecting that to have to install microchips in the and battery well batteries maybe but you know micro batteries in the microchip and then plug the the light to the microchip and then install it so i made a separate video for that which i'm gonna launch very soon after this um, or maybe at the same time, I, maybe it's up uh, right now, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a, uh, just a video of me showing how I've installed the light. Um, might not be the best video. I, it was my first time doing something like that. So yeah. And then after that, there's going to be, there's a little wind blade, like a model kit of wind blade that came uh, with this. Uh, and that also will be a separate video on time-lapse just to show you guys it's not a great uh, model it's not so anyway so i'm gonna go on my review area and uh, set that up and uh, show you this awesome figure before i do that though i just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist and the interview playlist uh, because that's a great uh, great watch if you want to hear um, you know stories from the voice actor themselves and uh, the spotlight is just my own research and take on uh, their life and just, you know, showing you how they got to be voice actors. So really proud of all that. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Reviewing any Titan is hard. There's no other way to say it. Sorry for the awkwardness of uh, this thing. So what it comes with. First, there's an explanation. Now, you'll see my own handwriting on that. This is basically, they say that it's, uh, you know, there's a microchip that are magnetic and the other one are for the remote. 
So it does come with a remote that you have to assemble yourself, uh, this part here. And basically, you know, there's the magnetic, like these guns. So if you use the magnetic uh, microchip, it's going to uh, light up when you touch it with the magnet. And if you use the remote, uh, it's pretty much what it says. Uh, I installed most of the stuff for the remote just because I don't want to unplug my gun every time. But I kind of still do because uh, there's a light here and here and on in the guns and those are magnetic so i'll show that in a moment and then i use google translate to figure out what the uh, chinese or asian writing is this is the remote that it uh, that you assemble uh, you make sure to put it on the right side so that the on and off switch uh, are working you have to be close for it to light up and then sometime all right Okay, you have plenty of replacement connectors. So these are connectors for this part here. Uh, so I don't know if they expect uh, them to break, but you have extra sets for the legs. Um, well, not the legs, but like the kneecap here. Uh, so that's, that's cool of them to include those if ever it does break. Uh, you have the instructions, which... Um, they're okay. I mean, you have to figure out, like, the transformation's not too complicated, and, you know, it works. But they show you, like, the head is hard to push in at first, but it gets easier. Uh, there's a section here that starts with the lighting uh, installation. It, they just show you where to install the light. Uh, again, not great. And then they show you different display for the gun. Uh, if you want to have them, you know, upside down or whatever. And then there's a very weird instruction for uh, the Windblade model kit. You do have the Windblade model kit. Um, you can check the video I did uh, how to assemble it. It's very simple. I mean, it's, it, it's not good. Uh, it's just a red thing. Uh, and then when you move the arms, pieces fall off. Uh, because there, there there are joints at many places, like it's articulated. But when you do, uh, stuff wants to pop out. And if you glue it, then it doesn't move anymore. So um, they don't tell you where the glue is supposed to go. So I'm guessing it's not this, but it could make sense for a couple parts. Uh, you know, if you want to put the uh, the whole chest and back glued together, you could. So, yeah, not the best. But there is a stand, so that's pretty cool if it would stay pegged in. You have a slammer, which really is just a tank with little wheels, and it goes up and down. That's it. Oh, it and it removes easily from uh, the peg, so be careful. So, yeah, uh, but I have the uh, Hasbro Kingdom Slammer. Which is going to look better with this. You don't get a scamper. I don't have any version of scamper. So I would have loved a scamper. I'm saying scamper a lot. And you have Metroplex itself. Oh, you do have those uh, gap fillers here. Like there's little little things here. Uh, I check with my buddy Deluxe. Because he also mentioned those gap fillers when he was doing his... Uh, his review but then i reached out and said did you install them anywhere and he's like no nah, i didn't play with it so because there's no instruction to tell you where they go i mean they could maybe fit here but if you look at pictures of the box um they're still empty so i don't know where this goes so if somebody no does know uh please you know write it down in the comments so you get six of these things and now you have the figure itself uh, yes, the guns are already installed because they're not easy to peg in. So it's kind of hard to do on camera. So I wanted to show it to you before I remove them so that we can review the guns and the figure. So the articulations are good though. It's just when you rotate, if you want to install the gun, you might want to put the hand 
in this position here so that you can press down on it and look at it because the thumbs get in the way and you know you have to make sure everything is angled properly then you press it down um, i find somehow it's harder if the hand is in this position so maybe it's just me i don't know but it's a very nicely articulated hand for the gun basically you have a microchip uh, inside uh, with lights already installed and I have to say maybe that's where I should put glue because these things don't want to stay together like there, there's always a gap now which is unfortunate but it, it I mean it's just a little gap it doesn't fall off but this is a easy thing to um, you know pull off if you want to remove the microchip and the lights and the batteries and stuff um, but I mean it's not hollow except the handle uh, nice uh, lighting effect and if you tap it on this ah, there you go it lights up uh, you can't really see it it's too bright in here I don't know if I remove this light ah there you go you see it a little better so that's pretty cool uh gonna close the light nope there you go now see you can't don't hold it by the 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 the, the you know the nose uh it's uh, not uh, not that great uh articulation no i'm kidding i'm gonna go over the figure first so you do have, I mean, you look at it, and this is Metroplex. Um, and to me, this is G1 Metroplex. I'm super happy to have this because this was a, a kid's dream to have a Metroplex. And of course, you know, he was like this tall, uh, you know, in G1. But in my mind, this is what I wanted. Of course, there's the Generation 1, but it's like 900 bucks US uh, on eBay if you want to complete one. So this was a better option for me to be able to uh, afford it because it was a really good deal. That meant, I, I think they still have it. Like it's 175 free shipping. Uh, it just, it takes forever to get here, but I it's worth the wait. I really uh, like this guy. So you have, uh, just for colors and stuff, it's mostly uh colored plastic i'm not seeing a lot of paint like this is colored plastic uh the face is painted uh white uh but this is black plastic there's a little bit of paint right here uh this is gray plastic this is black plastic clear plastic this is all gray plastic but it's nicely molded you have all the details uh this kind of looks like a lock it's really cool uh you have the nice detail this is a window for the light so that it's easily removable it looks really good but again this is white plastic gray plastic black plastic uh no paint uh the gun there's the magnetic tip uh on top here as you can see can you see it yeah so that's how you activate uh the eyes uh the guns and the chest or everything else depending which microchip you've used uh, gray plastic black plastic same thing on the other side and the legs are pretty much you know just white plastic and then you have uh, the red connectors and uh, here and then you have gray plastic and in the box it comes with this detached um, and they don't show you how to install or where to install it you just have to look at the transformed version and then you see it um, so it's basically the same thing as this but when you're in uh, mobile platform mode they they kind of go underneath so uh, I left them there afterwards and then you have white plastic here you have a little bit of paint here you have white plastic here and then this is clear plastic so that you can see the lights all right so from the back there's nice details as well um this is molded stuff that's gonna show when you're in uh city mode uh, and uh there's lights in there as well looks really good uh you have some gunmetal here in the back uh and then it's all you know no paint just gray plastic white plastic uh but there's uh you know nice details on the legs 
and uh, yeah, looks really good. I like the head sculpt. I mean, the mount could be a little, uh, I don't know, different, but that looks really robotic. And if you want, uh, you can remove this. You can see the microchip, but the visors can be pushed in so that you can see. Come on. There you go. That's how it should work. Or maybe it doesn't work if once you install the light. But there you go. You can have your Metroplex uh, without the visors. Which, of course, I don't like. I like my Metroplex with visors. And this piece is easy to add and remove. Articulations. Uh, you have articulation at the ears. The head will rotate... 360 and then you have a bit of a look up and a very little look down but i mean even if he looks down he can't see anything because of his big boobies you have articulation here so oh wait the connector just dislodged itself hold on it's on a mushroom peg so you just need to push down it's not the stablest it's not the first time it happens but there's this cannon thing here that you can uh, lift up, move up. You have uh, the arms can go like this. And this one can be removed because of transformation. So you have like a butterfly. This one does not. You do have nice ratcheted Ferris wheel. Loving that. Uh, the arm will rotate underneath uh, the shoulder at the bicep you have a double uh, elbow but that's mainly because of transformation uh, so that you can you know form the uh, mobile platform um, and then the hand will simply rotate it doesn't move like this uh, you have that rotation but uh, each finger is uh, articulated the thumb in two spots uh, and then the rest of the fingers in three spots so you can uh, give him a uh, really nice pose holding figures stuff like that um, you have your merry-go-round it's a very very soft ratchet like it's not tight Sorry, it's not easy to review Titan because I'm kind of, I have to put the camera further, so I'm further, so my arms are all stretched out. But anyway, uh, you have a very, this is loose. Like it, it's, see what I mean? It's loose. So here's your reverse Johnny Cage. And now I have to, <laughs> yeah, mine is loose. Uh, the... The, the ratchet here is not super tight, so I don't know about uh, possibility, how great it's going to be. Uh, but this rotation here is extremely loose. And then you have a 90 degree here. And you have a toe tilt because of transformation. You don't have any type of rocker. So that's too bad. And there you go. That's the robot mode i'm gonna do transformation off screen for obvious reasons and try to set this up so that it uh, doesn't look too bad Where are my eyes? and before i fin i complete the transformation uh just for a quick uh, size comparison here he is with uh while well, my coffee mug and uh original beast wars optimal optimus so he's uh, pretty big, but let me go get a uh, another Titan. So this is the Hasbro uh, Generation Select Guardian Robot, which I've dubbed now Patriot Supreme. So he's smaller than a Hasbro Combiner, but he's still, you know, still pretty big. Um, it just, you know, I'm going to put that with uh, my Season 3 uh, uh, display and uh, it's going to kind of scale well. Um, I mean, you can't have a Titan that scales really well and this he's like eight foot tall. So anyway, I like this. One thing I forgot to mention, um, 
is this section here. I don't know if you notice, but this is not flush, right? This is lifted. Reason is because these two pins should be on the other side. I tried to unscrew it to see if I could reverse it, but the way it's done underneath, there's the screw holes uh, that go deep, so I can't do it. I've reached out to Magic Square to see if they could send me a replacement. Maybe they're going to tell me to go see the manufacturer, but... And this, basically, uh, if this is not lifted right now, I can't uh, plug the legs uh, together. So, I forgot to do this. Put these in, and then you basically, you flip those like that. And this is how you get your mobile platform mode which looks really good and you can have your little uh, slammer on it it's it's huge um little qc this here on this side it doesn't stay pegged so sometimes i get like it you know unbalances the whole thing uh, but overall uh would roll fine uh, even on this uh, soft surface um, you have the guns this you can move here if you want to shoot forward and um, you can place the gun in you know any direction that you like i it it, uh, it looks really good doesn't work well with uh deluxe cars you know because way too huge so that's too bad but for legend scale vehicles which I only have two and they're hard to transform, so sorry. It works well with Jada figures though. These are the Jada Nano Metal figs. And, uh, you know, that's about the scale I'd expect from the show. So, yep, that works. I like that. Otherwise, there's not much more to show except... Um, you know, because it's all the same colors, all the same details. I mean, you can still move the waist about a little bit. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is what you've seen in robot mode. Just placed differently. All right, so let's uh, put this guy in uh, city mode. I tell you, this is all a big misunderstanding. It looks good. I like it. But there's not much to it. Um... You know, you can move the legs around like this. Again, those are very loose joints. Uh, basically, you flip this part open. That's actually a, sol a solid joint. Um, you flip this open. Uh, it, it looks like, you know, the original uh, toy. Um, maybe it looks... I haven't seen the uh, Generations one uh, in... Uh, in base mode one thing that is a miss is this um the ramp looks good but it doesn't touch the, touch the ground unless you know i don't think i'm mis mistransforming it or because this is glued in like there's no other extension uh, there's no other joint that i can unfold to make this uh touch and then you have a slammer as an antenna on top uh looks good and you can put the guns on the side so basically uh remove her yeah the hole's right there so you just plug this in and there you go so that's something you can do on both sides uh, it looks good i mean there's lights here and here uh, there's lights here uh still here you have the you know the x and the h for the helicopter there's a little hole here not sure why um you can put wind blade i think wind blade is a little too big for this display but if you have uh, jada figures you know that's a good size i like that even for vehicles well they can't go on the ram but you can store them here you know so that uh that scales well. Thank you, Jada, for those nano metal figs. I love them. So that's the uh, base mode. It's hard to move around because of the loose joint in the hips and um, 
at the tie. It's, it's so when you move it, it you know, anyway, when I move mine, it flips forward. Uh, so yeah, but it's good. I mean, this you know you can move this uh, if you want uh, to have a different uh, display option, uh, but it doesn't uh, you know fl uh, land here. It just stays there. So there's not much articulation or stuff, um, you know, other than moving the apartment complex. And there is some instructions here written in, I maybe Cybertronian. So uh, that's cool. There's a, this is, are they stickers or temper graph? They look like stickers. This is painted here and here. This is painted. Uh, but these are stickers uh, factory applied. But that's about it. I mean, you have the paint that we've seen earlier here. And uh, pretty much it. So there you go. Final look at uh, Metroplex in the city mode. Now, the new is to to you. Oh, there you go. A little family shot. So Siege, Six Gun, and Kingdom Slammer. A little bit of a difference. <laughs> These are supposed to be six guns legs. Uh, they don't, uh, you know, they're, they're not flush. So you have to, if you want a, the gun to stand. But imagine having a six gun with this. Um, you'd be as tall as Metroplex. Wow. But yeah, I like this shot. That's uh, pretty cool. I'm, you know, missing a scamper. So hopefully down the road, Legacy is going to do a scamper. Or maybe the next thing after that who knows uh, but i like i'm really happy to have this figure it looks good it's a little shorter than uh, the other titans that i have of course you know a metroplex could always be bigger but i'm not gonna go spend 1500 bucks on the four foot one or 900 on the generation one one thing i want to mention is the head when you push her down you have to put the ears like this and it's really tight at first but then eventually it gets better but this is as deep as it goes but when you want to pull her up hold on the ears first then after that grab underneath the chin don't pull from the uh the helmet oh sorry don't pull from the helmet because that's gonna fall off he's gonna pop, not fall off but pop off and then you hear that clicks and then it's stable but it is scary the first time oh my god did not want to push on that thing because i figured i could never pull it back out but you know it all works out so yeah fantastic figure and honestly if toy hacks does sticker for it i'm probably gonna get them um you know mainly there's a autobot logo here that uh, could be uh, maybe i already have something uh that big that can uh, fit in there um, let me check Okay, and I think I do. I have a perfect cartoon sloppy decal right here, and I think it's going to fit. Uh, it could be a little bigger, but I'm still going to put it because I love the cartoon sloppy stuff. And then when I get a bigger decal, I'll uh, put it there. So I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And, you know, I know this was long and then there's two more videos. Please go check them out. Thank you for staying this long if you did. It's really um, not easy to review Titans, but I really wanted to show you guys this figure because uh, it looks really good. The quality is there. A little bit of loose joints at the hips, you know, and it's not, not a deal breaker at all. Yeah, the transformation is simple, really. I wouldn't say intuitive, but I mean, if you look at the instruction, you figure out where everything goes. and Or just by looking at pictures, you can pretty much figure it out. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, long review. And, you know, if you have the chance, uh, you know, go give me some views on the uh, Windblade stuff, uh, the assembly, and uh, the uh, how to install the lights. I would really appreciate that. Please uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back after I'm on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.